Hey everyone, I'm back with a new puzzle and this time we are playing with the white pieces. When we evaluate the position, we can see that we are up a knight and a rook, but Black seems to have an unstoppable post pawn. The position, however, is completely winning for white. Feel free to pause the video for a moment if you want to find the best idea all by yourself. Okay, let's take a look at the solution. We start off by checking the king. He only has one square to go to, and now we bring our rook to c3. That allows Black to promote his passed pawn, but it won't help him at all. The move you have to find next is knight to d7. That leaves the Black King with only three available squares. But no matter what, he can't go to b7. If he does, however, we play rook to b3 check while also attacking the queen. So Black's only good move is to capture the rook. But I'm sure all of you can see the problem here. This fork is just winning. White captures the queen and won't have any problems to promote his own passed pawn and win the game. So it is obvious that b7 is no option for Black. However, there is nothing he can do to avoid it. If he goes to a8, we simply check him and as you can see b7 is again the only square he can go to and Black ends up with the same fork we just talked about. And a7 won't help him much either, as this knight is just doing a beautiful job of blocking the way. Okay, so congratulations to you if you were able to find the solution, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new puzzle. See you then, bye!